I don't agree with anything okay. practically that Liam has just said. I certainly, certainly when I was first, when I talked to people first a few weeks ago, um, then they would talk about the referendum and then you say, actually, no, I'm talking about council elections or I'm talking about the London elections or whatever it was. And then they would kind of twig. And you say, yes, I want to talk about, about schools and I want to talk about, about facilities, you know, I want to talk about social care. I want to talk, these are bread and butter issues for people and absolutely they want to talk about it. Once they, I mean, there was much more publicity about the referendum than there was about these council elections. So once people began to kind of realize, then yes, they did want to talk about those things. And I think it's far too early to say that Labour is losing out to UKIP and the Tories are not. I think this is jumping to major conclusions. I think that certainly in 2015, it looked like there were certain trends that were being established. So Labour was losing votes to UKIP. We were getting squeezed by the Tories. You know, the Lib Dem vote was splitting between between the between the you know, Labour and the Tories. And actually, just these early results do, do seem to me to be showing that those those t trends have stopped and that we seem to be kind of getting back to a new baseline. And I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. I think the result in Nuneaton is very interesting indeed, because if you think about it, in 2015, in Nuneaton, it went Tory, and yet we've, we've, retained, we've retained control of the council, which is a great result. I think even the spectator said this was going to be a pivotal result, the Nuneaton result, so good. It's a good result for Labour. These are not good results. I mean, it's a you, good you result cannot, for Labour. You cannot see Keeping these are good results for Labour. It looks Hello, like you've got a Tory MP like in Nani and you've still got a Labour council. With a big reduction in the Labour share of the vote from the last time these not elections were reduction. fought there. And what it looks like is that Labour are going to be facing an even worse result potentially tonight in Scotland than they did at the general election. Their nightmare is not over in Scotland, it continues. I think it looks like they may yeah. well lose control of the Welsh Assembly too. They're rolling back in, in many of their heartlands. It's a poor uh, result compared to what they got last time round, comparing with the same electorate. And it's very easy to say, well, we're actually comparing it with a different electorate in 2015. You have to compare that like with like. This is not yeah. a good result for Labour. In fact, I've been on so many of these programmes and almost you become conditioned a year into a government to know that you're going to have a dreadful night sitting here and saying, well, they're not really as disastrous as they look. And in fact, this is very different from most uh, programmes that I can remember one year into a government, because this is when the opposition normally make their big gains. And that's true, no, well, that, no, I mean, don't we talk about mid-term? I mean, we talk about mid-term. I mean, if the council elections had the same cycle as general elections, then I think having these comparisons would make a bit more sense. But actually, we're talking about only a year after the general election and not two, and that does make a difference. If you think about 2012, what happened in 2012 was that, was that Ed had been the leader for a couple of years. We'd had the Omni Shambles budget. We'd had, we had Leveson, um, and Ed had taken a strong line on Leveson. And so things, I think, were very different. And now, instead, we have a situation where we've got a new leader who's not been in power for very long. And I think that it's too early at this stage to be making these sorts of comparisons, you know? I think that, I want, I think that we, things will be different in a year's time. And I think that that is an essential truth, Liam, okay. that you can't get round.